What is going on people welcome back to another video on AJ5 and in today's video guys we do have an update on Mill Lady meme coin which has hit a red candlestick guys as you guys can see and has dipped down over 10% in the last 24 hours currently trading at this value here so we're going to be looking at what is the best thing to do right now is it to buy the dip or is it simply to wait until it pumps back up is it time to hold on to it before it crashes back down even even further and then potentially invest into it so we're going to be going through what is next for mill lady meme coin and what is the best option for both buyers and sellers point of view and also looking at its prediction over the short term and over the long term in 2024 is it a crypto which can recover so on and so on but before i get into all of that stuff guys if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as i am trying to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help me hit that target i will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel and for a bonus entry follow me on instagram link to that will be in the description box down below so we are currently looking at the candlestick pattern chart with the Fibonacci scale which I will be using later on in the video to do some technical analysis but for now I'm just going to hide this and I'm going to bring up the usual MACD indicator to do some price prediction as I'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for. So we are looking at the daily chart and at the top here we've got the purple line running across the chart giving us the average value of Mill Lady meme coin which is here in purple however the crypto has officially drop down below the SMA indicator which is not looking too great after a very long time as you guys can see most of the time it was literally trading over the SMA indicator however right now it has dropped below it which is not looking too good but we'll get into that later on so for now let's zoom in into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then I'll move on to the hourly daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself but before I do that guys just a little disclaimer as usual this is no financial advice I'm not a financial advisor anything I say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make I will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart here we do have the blue and the orange now looking quite bullish heading towards the positive direction meaning minimal gains in value are expected from the crypto over the next 12 to 14 hours so by midday to tomorrow afternoon the crypto should be trading at a slightly higher value than where it is at the moment which i also agree with reason being is it's taken quite of a dip not just in the last 24 hours but over the last few days it has been dropping quite a bit so it's time for it to slowly start to hit green candles and pump back up in value it's not going to be a fast recovery i'm not expecting a major pump or a major bull run or anything like that it is going to be a slow and steady increase in value but again do expect red candles in between it's likely to be quite volatile with both green and red candles but the overall outcome by midday tomorrow seems to slightly be more on the positive side rather than the negative side potentially a good five to seven percent up from where it is at the moment is what i'm expecting moving on to the hourly chart next couple of days we're looking a little bit well skeptical the blue line is looking bullish heading towards a positive direction and the orange line is looking bearish heading towards the negative direction so what we have here is two lines going the opposite direction to each other meaning an overall fluctuation in value is what is expected from mill lady meme coin over the coming week so by mid next week which means we'll be early april the crypto should essentially be trading around its current price range which i do not agree with even though yes over the last week or two it has been quite volatile up and down overall it has maintained its current value i'm expecting it to go through an overall increase in value by mid next week it should be about a good 15 to 20 percent up from where it is at the moment is what i'm expecting however I keep you guys updated on a daily basis on this crypto so if there are any major changes or updates that come across I will let you guys know. So guys to stay in the loop on my predictions on Mill Lady Meme Coin make sure you guys stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time I upload. So zooming into the daily chart now we're not looking too great we have both the blue and the orange line looking quite bearish heading towards the negative direction meaning an overall drop in value is what is expected from mill lady meme coin over the next six to eight weeks so mid to late may however that's not what i'm expecting but 
I'm expecting an overall increase in value from the crypto by late May, early June. It should be trading at a much higher value than where it is at the moment, especially with the Bitcoin halving coming up in literally a few weeks time. This should have a positive impact. But again, let's not get too excited for that. There will be more updates and more news regarding the Bitcoin halving and how it will affect the crypto market and how to get prepared for it. But at the moment, I'm expecting an overall increase in value from Mill Lady Meme Coin over the coming six to eight weeks. Now, let's get rid of the MACD indicator and bring on the Fibonacci scale. So, as you guys can see, we are literally trading at its resistance level here. We are literally on the line. What I'm expecting it to do is potentially drop back down a little bit into the green zone here and then bounce back up, heading back up into the dark green zone is what i'm expecting at the moment and potentially heading back into the blue zone by mid to late april and pumping up from there onwards by may june july it should be pumping up into the top tier level is what i'm expecting at the moment but again i will make sure to keep you guys updated if there are any changes to that so Heading into the coin market cap website here, we can see the trading volume has also dropped down by nearly 9% in the last 24 hours, making it just over $21 million. As you guys can see, it's taken quite of a major drop over the last 24 hours. Over the week, it has been very volatile, guys, with green and red candles. But over the last few days, it has consistently been red days, which is not looking too great. And over the month, over 200% up, guys, with a major pump here in early March. But when this was happening, I did tell you guys, do expect it to take a little dip down in value by mid to late March, which is exactly what's happened. So, so far, predictions have been on target. And right now, over the next six to eight weeks, as I mentioned, I'm expecting an overall increase in value heading higher than where it was trading in early March is what I'm expecting at the moment. So, this is my take and my prediction on Mill Lady Meme Coin. Guys, I've seen a lot of people saying the crypto is going to get rid of two zeros, three zeros, and so on, which I, as much as I want to agree, I don't agree with that because if it does get rid of two or three zeros, it's not going to be sustainable. It will have to go through a major, major increase in value in a space of about literally nine months' time, which I'm not expecting from Mill Lady Meme at the, sorry, Mill Lady Meme Coin at the moment. But um, even getting rid of one zero is going to require a huge increase in value, which I highly doubt. But keep the comments coming. Let me know how bullish and how bearish you guys are on this crypto. And on that note, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing, liking, commenting, and just supporting the channel in any way or form, and especially all the subscribers out there. Thank you guys so much as it helps me a lot and means a lot to me as I am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. And at the end of the day, guys, it's free to subscribe. So why don't you go down and smash that subscribe button and like the video. And I'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update, which should hopefully be later on today or tomorrow. Until then, take care and peace.